Hello everyone, this is Dr. Clark and I will be introducing another figure of black history for you all. When we think of African Americans in boxing, usually the first names that come to mind usually are the likes of Floyd Mayweather, Muhammad Ali, and Mike Tyson. But today, I am covering a special trailblazer. The man I am talking about today is legendary boxer Mr. Jack Johnson. Jack Arthur Johnson was born on March 31st, 1878 in Galveston, Texas. His parents, Henry and Tina Jen Johnson, were two former slaves who worked as a janitor and a dishwasher to take care of their family. His father was a civilian teamster of the Union Army's 38th Colored Infantry, but that eventually left him severely crippled. Jack, as a boy, attended school for five years while helped take care of, of his family's property and worked to help support them. While working many odd jobs, finding his love for boxing from Walter Lewis, he loved for Manhattan at the age of 16. While living in New York with a fellow fighter, he worked in a gym as a janitor that was owned by Herma Bernou. He eventually earned enough money to buy boxing gloves and create his unique style of fighting. He eventually returned to his hometown of Texas where he participated in street fights and prize fights where his confidence was made. But his history making career really started when he made his professional debut in his hometown and famously knocked out Charlie Brooks in the second round. The Galveston Giant has many interesting facts and quirks. Here are a few that sticks out to me. It has been said by many film goers and film critics, and myself included, that the legendary film series King Kong was based off of um, Mr. Johnson and his relationships, or his interracial relationships, I might add. He has a total of 104 fights, 73 wins, and 40 of them have been knockouts. He was the first African-American world heavyweight champion and was one of the, of the best champions of all time, I might add. He has been inducted in both the National and International Boxing Hall of Fame. He was one of the first athletes to gain status of a celebrity. Matter of fact, he was the, said to be the most famous man of all time at that time. The 1970 film The Great White Hope was based off of his life. He was named one of the 100 greatest African Americans by scholar Malefe Kete Asante. Thank you, everyone. Um, doing the research for Mr. Johnson was very interesting because many people, especially within the sports world, I don't really hear mention him a lot, even though he was a trailblazer for people of African descent in sports. Just something I wanted to add in.